Hey there, it's Amy Pearl from Work Ignited, and I have five fast icebreakers for you. Number one, I call this one pennies in a bowl. Get a bowl, fill it up with pennies. Pass the bowl around to your group, asking each person to draw a penny from the bowl. Then, once everyone has their pennies, I ask them to introduce themselves, even if they all know each other. And then, based on whatever year is on the penny, they have to tell us something special that happened to them that year. So they might have to tell us that in 1979 they made their first communion, or in 1982 they graduated from college, or in 1993 they got married, or in 2008 they had their first child. But it's a great way for people on a team to get to know one another in a way that isn't always exactly work-related, but doesn't get into their deep, dark secrets. It's fun. I get to see what people have in common. They get to see what they have in common or learn something that they didn't know about each other. Pennies in a bowl. Number two, two truths and a lie. Did you ever play this game as a kid? You know, a bunch of you get together, you tell two truths and a lie, and people have to guess which is the lie. And if they guess, they win. If they don't guess correctly, they lose. Same thing with this exercise. So I ask each member of the team to introduce themselves and tell us two truths about them and a lie. And we need to guess which are the truths and which are the lie. Now, sometimes I just do it for fun and as a way to get to know each other. You could also do it as a team um, and maybe earn points uh, for those that you get correct or those that you miss, you'd lose points and you can have some fabulous prizes at the end. But it's an excellent way for teams to get to know each other in a way that really isn't too threatening. Number three, team sentence. With this exercise, I put a big, 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 piece of flip chart paper on the wall. And I have the members of the group all line up in a like single file line facing the flip chart. And I give a pen to the person at the front of the line. And I ask the person at the front of the line to start a sentence with just one word. And then each person on the team has to add one word to the sentence so that when all of this is done, the sentence actually makes sense. Now, if it's a small team, you could have them go through the line maybe two or three times to create a really long sentence because the longer the sentence, the harder the exercise is. Or you might have a great big team and then the, each person can just write one word until you get to the last person in the line. The sentences are really humorous. A lot of times they are just about nonsense. A lot of times though, they're about the team and how great the team is or the organization and how proud they are to work there. It's a really nice bonding experience and it shows that by working together, they can accomplish some pretty cool things. Number four, what's your theme song? So in this icebreaker, I ask participants to introduce themselves and then to share with us a song from any time in history that describes something about them. So hopefully it's not like a virgin because that could get kind of dicey. But you know, there's a lot of songs out there that describe people's personalities or style or what's important to them. Or perhaps they'll pick a song from a special time in their life that they'll share with us and why it was meaningful for them. You could also turn the tables a little bit and have someone else introduce somebody on the team and pick a song that they think best reflects that person's style. But the game is what's your theme song and it's a fun way for people to get to know each other, to get to know what's important to them uh, and to just have some fun during your introductions. Number five, name tags. For this exercise, you'll need a pack of those hello my name is stick on name tags and you assign the participants each a partner so you're dividing them into groups of two if you end up with an odd group you know just throw one group of three together and you give each group two name tags with the following instructions the instructions are for one participant to complete the name tag for their partner and what they're going to write on the name tag is the individual's name and one or two traits that they really admire about their partner. So the name tag will end up saying, hello, my name is Sue. And what I really appreciate about Sue is her uh, fun, lively personality. 
And then once everyone has completed the name tag or filled out the name tag, they take turns introducing their partner based on what they wrote on the name tag and um, what they really appreciate about their partner. You know, in this day and age where people aren't always as friendly as they need to be, it's a great way for them to really express their gratitude and their appreciation for the people on their team. And it only takes a few minutes, so it's a great icebreaker. I hope that this video has given you some ideas to kick off your meetings with a bang.